Today we are going to be replacing the coil packs. This is actually the old one. I've already jumped ahead and did it, but um, I realized I didn't film it, so I'm going to throw in a clip here of me redoing it for you, kind of flying through it. Uh, it's really simple. This one here is a 12 uh, millimeter uh, bolt. So in order, thank God it's a cylinder too, but in order to get it out, you have to take the battery out, the battery tray, um, and disconnect the battery. My car's throwing a code right now saying cylinder bank two is um, misfiring. So I looked up on uh, the internet, on Google, which cylinder was number two, and it's this front uh, right one when you're looking at the engine bay. So that's there. I've got the new one in and everything, but in order to clear those codes, what I did is I disconnected the battery and left the headlights on. It's been probably over 10 minutes or so. This whole job doesn't take long, but if the coil pack that I need to replace was in the back or anywhere else, it would be a lot harder. So thank, good, thank goodness it's cylinder uh, two. Uh, but I was able to get that in and out. Um, when I took the old coil pack out, this, there's a little spring system that's supposed to be inside. Um, and there's actually supposed to be a little needle here too. Um, and this little needle it looks like it's just a screw. So that might be why it was misfiring. Um, but so this faulty uh, coal pack is now trashed. Got the new one in. I'm gonna reconnect all the battery back and everything. And since the battery was disconnected, the headlights were left on, it drained the ECU of power because it kept the open current um, flowing. Uh, so anyhow, that's been about, you wanna leave it off and disconnected um, for about 10 minutes or so. Um, that way all the power drains out of the ECU, just kind of like when you disconnect the Wi-Fi router, you leave it disconnected for like, you know, 30 seconds or so, so all the power drains out of it. The car ECU is a little bit bigger than a Wi-Fi router. So, got that done, I'm going to put it all back together and crank it up and see what happens. So let's get back to it. We can take this off that it's out and that's the size of a coil pack all those are good so I don't know why it would be bad so here's a new one so there's the spring system little piston there goes in that and this goes in like that so before we put it in though, we want to make sure we connect this back. So get that connected on there.
For this one here, we're going to use a 10 millimeter. So what, then once you get everything connected back together, uh, you're gonna wanna come in here and uh, turn your key on to the on position for probably you know, a couple minutes, five minutes maybe, um, would be a safe bet. Um, and once you let it um, stay like this for about five minutes, you can go ahead and put your foot on the brake and then start it up. And I had a check engine light and a cruise control light flashing. Um, now that I've replaced that uh, coil pack, um, it seems to have gone away and that means that the ECU has reset itself and I don't know if y'all's car Subaru Legacies do this, mine does, every time that I'm even just sitting here with the key on it beeps until I buckle, it drives me nuts. Anyway, um, so it's relearning its firing pattern right now and everything uh, which I can feel, um, the car is kind of like shaking a lot, it's a lot smoother than what it was. Um, so the RPMs have dropped down to where they should be. I'm still, sadly, I'm still feeling uh, a rough uh, kind of like misfire um, with the car. To kind of get it to relearn itself some more, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in reverse. That helps get the RPMs down. I'm not feeling that misfire anymore. As much anyway, it is a little bit, it is still there a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take it for a drive and see what I can get it to do and see if it feels any different. We did the coil packs, I took it for a drive, um, and everything seemed fine, seemed a lot better, more responsive, um, and a lot smoother power band and so on. Um, get in the driveway, sit in there for a little bit, it starts idling rough again. Um, so I'm not sure if I have to have any, uh, somebody, act I'm going to try to get my uh, co-worker to, at the dealership to uh, take his uh, nicer <laughs> OE2 uh, port reader um, and flush all the codes and see if they come back again. Um, it said something about cylinder four. I hope that's not the case. 
because um, that would be the cylinder that's really hard to get to. Um, but we're going to see what happens whenever they flush it, um, the codes and all that. Um, but new coil pack, that thing was like 90 almost $100, something like that. So 100 bucks later, time and video and all that stuff, and it's still not fixed. Kind of upsets me about that. That sucks, but um, still drives smoother. So hopefully it's just something with the idling, maybe the timing, I'm not sure. I'm gonna do a fuel cleaner, um, injector cleaner into the gas tank next. Uh, I'm gonna see if that helps. I'm going to um, check all the wiring as well. Um, but we'll see what happens and whenever I go to get around to doing that I'll film it for you guys too and uh, see what happens so thanks for watching guys subscribe and like um, I'd much appreciate that check me out on Instagram at uh, legacy GT build um, just simple stuff like this that I'm doing right now um, got some exhaust modifications coming soon window uh, tent and uh, several other things coming soon which is gonna be really cool um, so stay tuned for that and uh, we're going to be doing some, look, keeping an eye out for some cheap wheels that I just can't pass up. Um, some lighting and different things for the interior as well. Um, all kinds of stuff coming. Uh, so really going to be making this thing uh, special and unique. Um, and I'd love to keep uh, you guys involved and get your feedback as well. Um, going to be doing, um, I'm kind of trying to find a spoiler, an aftermarket spoiler. Or I'm thinking about maybe making my own, making my own um, body kit and things like that, possibly too. So stay tuned. We'll see what happens and we'll play it by ear, kind of see what works best. So uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.